Good afternoon or, or good evening, Year 10 parents and carers, uh, and welcome to Mill Hill County High School's GCSE Information Evening. My name is Mrs Bernard and I've recently joined the school as assistant head teacher with pastoral responsibilities. I am also the SLT link to Year 10, which means that I'll be working with Year 10s for the rest of this year and possibly into Year 11 as well. Now, it has been an unprecedented year and a half, to say the least. Um, and there's been so much disruption to students learning. But I have been so impressed in the way that all students from all year groups have come back into school and engaged with school life. Now, year 10, this is a really exciting point for year 10s because they've started their GCSEs. They've spent the last year and a half working in bubbles, not actually exploring the school. And now they're having to re-establish that school and re-familiarise themselves with the school, which is exciting, but it could possibly be a bit daunting as well. I've been very impressed with how they've conducted themselves and I've been impressed by their general appearance and work ethic and long let, let that continue. Now, another thing that they have to familiarise themselves with is our school's values, because that is going to seep into every single thing that they do everywhere they go in school. So by aiming higher, students will grasp the opportunity that's available to them. Now that everything's open, now that there's extracurricular opportunities, students can constantly strive to achieve more, to experience things and clubs that they have never experienced before always wanted to, maybe, you know, felt a bit nervous about doing it, but now they're going to grasp that opportunity. Promoting harmony. Now, it's going to be so important for students to continue to have positive relationships with their peers and their teachers. But most importantly, it's really important that students are harmonious with themselves. They need to understand themselves and what, um, and understand what they enjoy, what they dislike, what their strengths are and possibly what their weaker areas are and learn to accept them and work towards um, making those areas better, striving for better. I think it's really vital in these challenging times to have good mental well-being. So harmony is definitely key to success. And lastly, achieving excellence. Simply all parents, all teachers want students to do the very best that they can. And that's all we can ask for. And that is where confidence comes from. If students have good self-esteem, they know what, that they've done their best, they know they've worked hard, then they're in a good place. And this is exactly the kind of routine that we would like our year 10s to have. So there are some basics that I just want to introduce you to um, before we move on. Attendance. So attendance and punctuality are key to success. And I'm sure you are aware, because some of you may have older children at the school, that the standards and expectations at Mill Hill County High School are high. And that is exactly probably why you want your child to come to this school, because students do very well at Mill Hill County High School. The government expectation is for attendance to be above 96 percent. And that's exactly what happens at Mill Hill County High. Students achieve over 96 percent, 97 percent in many instances as well. So let's be part of that or let's continue to be part of that journey. So it's important because year 10 playground is the furthest away from the entrance. It's important that students get into the school gate by 10 past eight, I think, at the latest. And that will allow them time to travel down to the, the bottom end of the playground for lineup. The graph that's on the screen just simply demonstrates that there, there is a strong correlation between attendance and entertainment. If students are in school, they're not missing their learning. There aren't any um, learning gaps. Therefore, students do not get stressed. They do not become disheartened and they uh, have got a positive mindset. And that really does help significantly. So I'm looking forward to students attending school above 96 percent um, and getting into school on time. Now, 
Mill Hill County High School has an amazing uniform. It's very striking. It's very individual. And it's student parents, people in the community recognise the uniform at a glance. So it's really important that we set those high standards as soon as you step out of your house. We want students to be dressed appropriately, behaving appropriately, demonstrating what it means to be a Mill Hall County High School student. I've been impressed in so many different ways, but I've been impressed by the way that students have been um, conducting themselves, but also how they've been wearing their uniform. They've been wearing their blazer, even though we had a mini heat wave earlier last week. Students were wearing their blazers, their shirts were tucked in and they were not wearing any jewellery. It's important to, to reinforce that with your child, because if your child isn't following those rules or meeting those expectations, they will stand out because they will be in the minority. So please make sure that they fully understand what we expect of them. Homework. Now, I would think that most students now are experts at completing home learning with the situation that they've currently gone through. So home um, homework planners or journals are on the way. They will be with you within the next two weeks. But fortunately, homework now is recorded online. So students just need to go home and log into Google Classroom and all of their homework will be available to them. To stay on top of the workload and to ensure that you can divide your work um, in a manageable way, we always advise that students complete the work set on the day that it is set. OK, that way it alleviates any rushed pieces of work, any missed pieces of work, and it ensures that students have got the time that they need to complete it to their best standard possible. Um, if you read closer on the screen, it does give you information about how long each piece of work should take. I've been working with year 11s on developing their revision timetable and homework timetable. So it's really important that students get into really positive habits now, because if they um, become accustomed to doing a certain amount of work each day, then it will be no different when they are revising for their exams because they will they will know what it means to work hard. In saying that, it's still important for students to have time for relaxation so that they can do extracurricular activities such as reading a book, playing an instrument or playing sports or simply watching the TV. So it's important to build in time to have relaxation and rest. It's important that students have got somewhere quiet and comfortable to work, um, as I'm sure they have. So what do we have? What are the expectations for this year? OK, now that there are everything is open, we want students to grasp the opportunities that are available to them. All the clubs are now open and you should have received a timetable of the extracurricular clubs. So please go to those clubs, encourage your child to attend these clubs because taking on new opportunities helps develop character and that is part of the learning as well. Students will be working to the best of their ability and I'm sure that they are. So it's just getting to those habits and making sure that they're meeting those expectations early on in their school GCSE career. Taking responsibility. We are not robots. We don't expect the students to be robots either. So if they make a mistake, we just expect them to learn from that mistake. And I've been impressed by the attitude of all students in the school so far. OK, so taking responsibility is key. Fortunately, the year 10 team hasn't changed significantly. Now, uh, their former head of year is now on maternity leave. But Miss Cauldron, who was their assistant head of year, is now taking over the, the year group for this year. And Mr. Vella is now going to be the assistant head of year. So as I said, I'm the SLT link, which means that I will be meeting with Miss Cauldron on a weekly basis to discuss the year group and any concerns or issues um, will be will go through me. Again, the tutor group hasn't changed significantly either. I think there are a few new additions to the team and they will be working with uh, existing form tutors. 
So I'm now going to pass the baton to Miss Cauldron and Mr. Vella, who will be talking to you further about other areas. Um, I'm looking forward to working with you in the future and please encourage your child to introduce themselves to me and say hello, which many of them have done already. So take care and I hope to see you soon. Good afternoon, a good evening to everyone. I am Ms. Calderon and I have the pleasure to act as a head of year 10 during this academic year. The new GCSEs bring higher expectations on the students than previously. There is far more content to cover and the students will be stretched and challenged over the next two years. I would like to highlight some of the key factors to support your child in achieving their best. One of the key factors in success is an engaged parents and having open communication between the parents, the school and the student. Your dialogue with your child is going to have a big impact on their attitude to their studies, lessons and teachers. Positive dialogue and positive reinforcement will really help support your child, especially in those subjects they struggle with the most. Students will mirror and reflect their parents' beliefs to their studies and dedication. It is important that both the school and parents are aware of what we are saying and the comments we make. We do not want to add any unnecessary stress as this will only hinder their performance in the long term. It is vital to ensure that the conversations you are having with your child are building their confidence. Communication is going to be extremely important over the next two years. I call it the triangulation of communication between a school, parents and child. For example, if you see your child struggling with their homework, let us know. Either email us or make a note in the planner. If you do not have the email of your child's teacher, then email the phone tutor or reception. The email address for each phone tutor has been listed here. You will receive from the teachers regular updates of your child's predictions. If you have any questions, please get in contact. Students tend to get stressed when they are not prepared. The calendar of key dates will show you the pressure points in the year. Our parents' evening is in March. Mocks are in June and July. It is important for us to have clear communication and ensure even the small issues are addressed to avoid them developing into greater problems. The year group is now determined by the option chosen by the students. Please be aware that the setting is very different in case stage four. If you have any questions about which set your son or daughter is in, please contact the head of the department. What next? Homework is really important. Discuss with your child how they will manage it. Having a clear place to study away from distractions. This can be quite difficult to achieve in a busy family home, but it's important for the students to have a clear area to study. This might not be in the room. In that way, you can see what they are doing without being too intrusive. Mobile phones. There is no doubt it's harder being a teenager today than it was for you and I. And primary reason for this is the mobile phone. We can all attest to how distracting it can be. In this situation, parents, I warn you, you need to lead by example. Avoid having phones in the bedrooms, which stops them from sleeping. Phones are a huge distraction. Students are often involved in some very large conversation group or social media not only distracting them from completing homework and revision, but also inhibiting them 
from sleeping and taking time to relax and switch off. Taking exercise book. Having a look at their books. How does the book present? Is your child proud of their book? Have they responded to the teacher's feedback? Is there clear feedback for your child to progress? If you see your child struggling in one of their books, get in touch. It is worth speaking to the phone tutor about the exercise book as there is time during form time to sort this out. Supporting students with their mental well-being. The GCSEs are a marathon, not a sprint. Students who put themselves under too much pressure and cannot perform it. Equally, if you are not prepared, you are more stressed. The key for the GCSE is little and often. I have seen students show me the revision cards that they have already made for topics they have studied. That is an excellent behavior for learning, and that is definitely the way to succeed. Now, I'm going to leave you with Mr. Vela, who is going to show you how to use Google Classroom. Thank you, and good evening. Good evening, everybody. My name is Mr. Vela, and I will be acting as the Assistant Head of Year 10 this year. Mrs. Bernard and Mrs. Calderon have already talked to you through some of the basic homework expectations at GCSE and ways in which students can manage their workload. But I just want to finish the presentation by showing you Google Classroom, its basic layout, and some of the ways you can use it to help your children stay on top of their workload. So you are currently looking at the home screen, which you will see once you've logged in to their account. If you don't have access to this, then you'll need to ask your child for their username and password because access is shared between parents and students. Once you're in, you'll see an entire list of all the classes that they're enrolled to for their GCSE courses. And this includes their form class as well. Myself, Ms. Calderon and their form tutor will occasionally post important bits of information or reminders or things they might have to bring in that generally relate to day-to-day -day school life. So it's also worth keeping an eye on this page as well. Um, you can click on individual tasks or subjects, should I say, and once you're in, you'll see a list of assignments. When you click on them, you'll see instructions that have been given by the teacher. And if necessary, teachers will add attachments or links to help students complete their work, such as worksheets like this one. Uh, if you ever want to get back to the home page, click on these three lines and click on classes. So rather than going into each subject and seeing what work needs doing, the best way to stay on top of things and to manage workload is to use one of these two views over here. So there's either the calendar view or the to-do list view. When you click on the calendar view, you'll see all of the tasks that are due in for that week. Um, and it will show you which day they're due in for. And if you click on any of them, you will see the teacher instructions. The to-do list is much the same, but it just shows you in a list view. And if you press view all, it will show you everything for that week. You can go down to next week as well if you really want to stay on top of things and get organized in advance. And it will show you anything that's due in for next week. If we go back to this week, um, I'll show you how work can be submitted and what happens once it is submitted as well. So currently, all of the work that we can see here is still outstanding. It's still all due in and hasn't been completed. So it's under the Assigned tab. If I click on this task, um, if a bit of work needs to be added electronically, then students can add links by clicking here and work from their Google Drive or from their computer can be uploaded. And then a student will, sorry, a teacher will be able to instantly see and mark it. But if it's work that just needs to be done in their book or on a sheet, then they can simply mark it as done. I'm going to do that now. And when you go back to the to-do list, you'll see that that task is no longer under the assigned list, and you can now see it under done. So yeah, this can be a really handy way of making sure 
you haven't got too much work left to do for the week and quite a satisfying way of seeing that things are getting done and then moving over to this tab here. So that is, that's it really, that's a basic layout, how things work and how you can use it to stay organized. If you do have any questions about this or need any further help about anything um, over the next year, then please do feel free to get in touch at any point and I'll be happy to help you further. Thank you very much for your time.